This Carnival Liberty vlog series is sponsored by Cruise Control Transportation. Stick around to learn more about them. Good morning guys, um, I'm Raquel from MH Family Ventures. Thanks for clicking on this video. As you see, I am rushing off. Um, we are on board Carnival Liberty for a three day cruise. If you missed the first two days worth of vlogs, be sure to check those out. But we are up, headed down to Sea Day Brunch. Now we have a group of almost 30 people and I went to check us in on the Carnival Hub app. So if you're, if you're, not, if you're not familiar with it, um, Sea Day Brunch is offered on C day it is included it's a pretty good option but we're trying to dine together and it only allowed me to check in 10 of our guests so i'm racing down before everyone checks in to see if we can get tables together so i'm off to the main dining room for C day brunch to check in hold on this is in our floor joe and follow home it's gonna be a very busy day a very busy fun C day good morning and um, again, if you missed our first two parts, be sure to check those out. But I was also on Carnival Liberty back in June of 2022 with my nieces. So check that vlog out. There's a lot more information in that series. Um, this one, I didn't vlog everything um, because I've already done that. So if you're looking for like a ship tour and some cruise tips, different things like that, be sure to check out that Carnival Liberty vlog. Okay. I like that, bro. Oh, that's perfect. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wait, where are the kids gonna sit? Hmm? Where are the kids gonna sit? Um, we sit there. Oh, All right, so we were able to get two tables together. It took a bit of haggling to make that happen, but I don't know why that process is so hard. Um, but we're here now. We've got most of the family here. I do like that color. It's nice. Good morning, Octavia. Oh, y'all matching. That's cute. I love it. Good luck, Athena. Oh, she wants to sit there with you. So breakfast has come out. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed, these shrimp and grits. Um, so they have the shells on them. Which if you follow like Carnival Mardi Gras, Carnival Celebration vlogs, um, first off, you don't serve shrimp and grits with the shells on because how am I supposed to pick those with the hot grits? But we'll see. But that is a $6 upcharge. Um, so I wanted to give it a try. I tried it on Carnival Elation and they weren't that good, but I just wanted to see if they were using the same recipe as the other ship. It doesn't appear to be because the other ones did not have shells on the shrimp. Um, so I might be returning that, but um, also got the skillet cake, which it looks like that is. Thank you. Looks like the skillet cake has thinned out some because the skillet cake used to be like thick and now it's like really thin. Um, but I also got steak and eggs. So we're going to eat. Um, I'll let y'all know what I do with those shrimp and grits, but I'm not liking the fact that I have to peel the shrimp in the grits. Um, that makes no sense to me. So yeah, so the shrimp and grits definitely are not emeralds. If you go on Mardi Gras, definitely get the shrimp and grits. Um, if you're on Carnival Celebration, go to emeralds and get the shrimp and grits. These are not it. So do not add on the shrimp and grits from the dining room. I tried it on Carnival Elation. Wasn't good. Tried it here. They're not good. It's like the grits aren't even seasoned. They're barely cooked. Um, and the shrimp is okay, but like I said, I have to peel and get messy. Um, so definitely would not recommend. All right, yeah, so I'm not even going to front. I did eat all the shrimp. I'm not going to waste seafood. I love shrimp, love seafood. So I did go ahead and, and peel those shrimp and ate them. Those weren't bad, but the grits just have nothing to them. Like, she don't care about those sauces. It's, it's bad, it's bad. Yeah. Y'all hear Dyson back there. <laughs> What'd you just say, Dice? I said, you're brutally honest. And you don't care about the sponsors. It's bad, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah, Dyson was talking to his cousin about how I'm going to share what's going on without worry of sponsorship or anything like that. 
because it is what it is. I mean, for the most part, I mean, this cruise has been probably one of my favorite. Um, food has been pretty good overall. Just the shrimp rankings aren't good, but yeah, definitely try to keep it honest with you guys because I would want to know how things are before I cruise. And again, these are my opinions. Everyone won't agree. Um, I just like to share my experience, you know, from my viewpoint, but shrimp and grits not good. Everything else has been great. Um, we're waiting on breakfast dessert. They do have a banana cream pie that is really good. Um, minus the bananas for me. Um, and um, they have some cookies and different things that you can order for sea day brunch. So we're just waiting on those things to arrive. But the coffee has been really, really good today. Um, I think I needed a little extra coffee, but the coffee's coming out hot and fresh and it's really good. So we're enjoying it. These cookies look good. Now those cookies look really good. I, I haven't, I've never tried the cookies at Sea Day Brunch. Um, they look pretty good, especially that chocolate chip one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Y'all, this is good. Jenny, you gotta get one need. This cookie is good. That is good. Really good. Y'all, why didn't you tell me about these cookies? <laughs> these cookies are so good. I guess this is oatmeal raisin. This is even better than a chocolate chip. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Had no clue. Let's see what this one is. I don't know about this one though. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all, these cookies. Are <laughs> I want to eat all three of them. I'm sorry. The cookies are good. I've been missing. Guys, we do CD brunch every cruise. And I've never gotten the cookies. Y'all ain't getting none of these. These cookies are good. I might actually get me some to go to. <laughs> the size of your heart is equal to the size of your what? So that's the Dr. Seuss brunch. Um, that's ten dollars per adult. I think eight dollars for kids currently. It's a cute concept. I didn't care for the food. Check out our Carnival Celebration vlog series for that. Um, I did highlight all of Dr. Seuss's um, breakfast. Here we are, Circle C. All right, y'all. Made it back to the cabin for a quick minute. Needed to swap out batteries. Um, but it's almost time to get off the ship. It's only been three days and we already have this on our bed. All right, so I just got us all checked in for our flight and we don't have to worry about arrangements getting from Port Canaveral back to Orlando Airport because this vlog series is sponsored. It's sponsored by Cruise Control Transportation. They provide transportation from Orlando Airport to Port Canaveral as well as from Port Canaveral back to Orlando. They also provide transportation, shuttle transportation from Orlando Airport area hotels as well as Cocoa Beach area hotels getting you to your cruise ship. So if you don't know, when you fly into Orlando, if you're flying into Orlando, it's about a 40, 45 minute drive from the airport getting to Port Canaveral. And usually you have to schedule some sort of shuttle service, whether it's through the cruise line or whether it's through like GoPort or one of the other um, one of the other transportation providers. I highly, highly recommend you choose cruise control transportation for your next shuttle service from Orlando to Port Canaveral because they have no more than 10 guests on board their shuttles. And um, they'll personalize it for you. It's $25 per person for a shared shuttle. They also offer private transportation options. So if you have a small group like we did and you wanna schedule private transportation options, be sure to reach out to them. I will include their information but they have um, some of the best vans, some of the best shuttles that we've seen. Um, nice and clean, uh, guest service, 
customer service, everything is phenomenal. So definitely check out Cruise Control Transportation. Again, you can't beat that price, $25 per person each way. Um, and they will pick you up on time and get you where you need to be on time. So be sure to check them out. Again, their link is in the description box below. And um, they'll be picking us up tomorrow morning, I think around 9.15. So we don't have to worry about getting back to the airport. We have cruise control transportation getting us there. So right now we are headed to a shared cocktail party. So when you have a group, if you've booked through a travel advisor or whether you book through Carnival, there are certain perks you get for booking a group. One of those perks that we selected as a group was a shared cocktail party. That just means anyone that's booked as a group on the sailing, which is only us and one other small group, um, they will have a limited open bar for one hour and that is included. So everyone can go down, you can get virgin drinks, you can get soda, they'll have select beers and wine and then they'll offer like five to six different cocktails. And it's just a time to kind of come together as a group, relax, have a few drinks um, and enjoy the rest of your cruise. So we're actually headed there, they're wrapping up bingo now. So we're headed to the cocktail party. Um, this will be my first time actually participating in a cocktail party. So I'm curious to see what it looks like. So you guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up and follow along with me. Um, we're gonna check out this cocktail party. So they have different stations set up for the kids for Easter. And um, they're actually getting like little eggs full of candies and little prizes. So um, that is a family friendly scavenger hunt that's taking place right now. Honestly, guys, I was too tired. Jim Marie didn't ask about it, so did not. Um, we're not participating in the egg hunt today, but it is makes for a fun time. We did it last year on board. Um, I believe it's Freedom of the Seas. We did it, um, so it's a lot of fun. Just too tired to do that today, and she's okay with that. So um, they do offer a lot of different activities during the holidays. All right, so I'm here in the piano bar for the shared cocktail party. They are offering, um, and again, this is exclusive to those who are booked as a group. If this is one of the perks that your group selected. Um, so they are offering us, let me pull up my list. Um, they have sex on the beach, rum punch, and screwdrivers, house beer, house white wine, house red wine, and then juice and soda for the kids. So it's just a place to gather. Um, come together as a group. There should be another group joining us. I'm the first one here, of course. Um, so just waiting on everyone else to join. So it also looks like they have coffee and tea available as well. Again, this is the shared cocktail party if you book as a group. They're finishing up bingo, so they'll they'll be down after bingo. But I'll have a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, was, I was looking at for you. Uh, yeah. Stuff. yeah. What do you want? Beer, wine. What do you make? Sex on the beach. It was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Sex on the front ship. Yes, it's today. Right. What do you want? Pick one. I trust you. I got. I, I, I you. And I'll I take one as well. I got you and I have a hundred for the past. Thank three you. Days. Thank you. And some sodas. Yeah. Hey. Y'all can get a soda or some juice. So yeah, so we have another group in here with us. Um, they're on the other side of the panel bar. We're waiting on the rest of our group. So the cocktail hour is only one hour. Take full advantage. Um, I'm drinking my fruit punch. Number three. <laughs> So take advantage. I mean, it's included if you have a group. We're just waiting on the rest. So you can't decide the time for your cocktail party. They tell you they'll leave an invite in your cabin on day one to say that this is the time for your cocktail party. I think the issue for us is that we had so many of our group doing bingo and bingo probably just ended and it's 3.30. So they only have about a half hour to enjoy the cocktail party. Um, so that's unfortunate. You can't select your time, so maybe be strategic and looking at the Carnival Hub app to see what they're offering before you um, decide to play bingo or do something if you want to take advantage of the cocktail hour. Um, so we're here, and then after this, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, but we'll figure it out. I haven't even been outside um, to the open deck yet, so I probably will go outside just to get some fresh air for a little bit um, and see what's going on. You want to get a soda? Here, I'll get you a soda. 
Oh, what kind of soda do you want? Want to see her miss? All right. Right. All right. So I just wanted to update. I'm not going to give details on the incident or the issue we had. Go back and watch day, day two, day two vlog. Um, but I wanted to let you know that Carnival made it completely right. They gave back a full refund minus gratuity, minus the taxes. Um, so that was handled very well. It took a little bit of time. We were patient. Um, but Manny at guest services on board Liberty um, was amazing. Uh, she followed up with corporate office, was able to get the issue resolved and a full refund back um, to our guest of honor, Cheryl. Um, so we're so thankful to Carnival for that, for making it right. We know it wasn't an issue with Carnival per se. Um, this could have happened anywhere at a hotel anywhere but carnival made it right so we're very appreciative and that just made the cruise even better so this has been a really great cruise and i'm so thankful that manny took care of this situation for us so you guys have an issue and you're on board carnival liberty go check out manny all right it is dinner time i haven't eaten since breakfast so super hungry i'm just enjoying it with the family now the kids club they're offering dinner with the kids so we're taking the kids there um Ron took the kids, so they're gonna have dinner there. It's like um, mac and cheese and I think corn dogs, that type of stuff for the kids. So they're gonna have that for dinner. We're gonna enjoy some adult time. So we're here for dinner and yeah, hopefully it's good. It is an Easter menu. Um, so some things that I've never seen on the menu for Carnival. Um, let's see what they have. So yeah, they have different things. Um, it's even different than like the Christmas and the Thanksgiving meals let's see what they have um let's see lots of cauliflower i'm good without that so yeah so they have a short rib croquette um crab and shrimp cake chicken carrot and ginger soup beet and petite greens and then they have like a ahi tuna um a honey mustard grilled salmon grilled jumbo shrimp ranch chicken classic glazed ham prime rib Three cheese pumpkin and zucchini gratin, cheese ravioli, and more. So we'll see. We'll give it a try and see how it is. But this is our first time on board Carnival for Easter, so we'll see how this menu looks. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We were just talking about how Carnival charges five dollars for extra entrees, but we ordered extra appetizers. Um, so this Easter menu is actually pretty good so far. We had the crab cakes, good. Um, I'm trying this um, prime rib croquet. That looks croquette. Looks good. Ravioli. It's all good so far. dinner dinner was really good um, I was very very impressed probably one of the best meals I've had on carnival for dinner um, so Easter totally different menu than they normally offer but they probably need to start adding some of those items to the menu um, the regular rotation because it was really good I don't know if that has any impact on Emerald now being the chief chef or whatever for carnival but it was really good so I'm gonna go check on the kids and we're gonna head to karaoke <laughs> So this is my very first time stepping outside today. It is 7.30 at night. Um, wanted to just say guys, we've run into at least, at least, no joke, 50 people that recognize this from our channel. Sorry, I'm wobbling, it's the, it's the ocean, it's not the fruit punch. <laughs> but we've run into 
so many people. So thank you for stopping to say hi. Just ran into Madison at a Circle C Kids Club. Um, she said she watches our channel. So shout out to you, Madison. Thank you so much for taking care of our kids. Um, they absolutely love Circle C, Camp Ocean. Um, so yeah, so we are just so blessed to be able to take you guys along on our journeys and we really do appreciate all of your support so i just wanted to say that i'm terrible at taking pictures with subscribers um so if you see me just say hey let's take a picture because i'm terrible with it but thank you for stopping to say hi it really does mean a lot to us um guys fresh air this is my first time out on the deck today um i'm headed over to karaoke for a little bit and then we're going to do deal or no deal but it is beautiful out it feels so nice um, and as you see, the Serenity deck is empty right now. So the Seaside Theater is one of my favorite features of Carnival. Um, they play all different kinds of movies. This is um, a man named Otto. They've had Black Panthers, so all kinds of movies. Free to sit out here, relax, and enjoy a movie. deal or no deal they changed the packages um, so the packages they used to be when they first started it was like uh, one for 22 for 30 whatever now it's now it's one for 25 two for 40 three for 50 um, you get your cards and you get to play each card twice so they'll have two contestants come up to play so fingers crossed someone from our group will get called up that'll be fun uh, it's a good time so it'll get pretty packed in here for deal or no deal so you'll be able to play both those cards all three cards or one card for both rounds Family, 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 we are in for a treat. And even if you're not here in it to win it, trust me. <laughs> you all know exactly who the banker is, and today we meet to beat the banker, right? That is right. We need to get the best deal possible. Now, family, each, uh, sorry, each and every single one of you that has those cards, right? Right now, spread them out because you're gonna play on each and every single one that you purchase, all right? So if you've got 20 cards, you spread them out, play on all 20. Flip tab right now, flip it up, because momentarily, you're gonna see some numbers popping up on screen. As soon as you see those numbers starting to roll out, I need you to go wild and crazy for each and every number matching with yours. Then, when your number is up there, we're gonna see a name as well, and that lucky person will join us on stage. Okay, 
Here we go. Like I said, each and every number matching. We're making a lot of noise, and it's matching with yours. We're looking for card number one, zero, seven, four, six, eight, six. We're looking for it. So Asha, Asha, oh my goodness. All right, guys. It's been so much fun, but I am off to bed. So, so tired. Um, had a great time, deal or no deal. The ship has been quite rocky though. So I think it's just put me, you know, into the place where I'm ready to go to bed. Um, it's already past 11, I think. Um, so we're pretty much packed up and ready to get off in the morning. We're gonna take our time getting off in the morning. As I mentioned before, Cruise Control Transportation will be providing us with shuttle service back to our, um, back to Orlando Airport. So um, we're not in a rush to get off in the morning. So we're gonna kind of take our time, have some breakfast and then get off. But um, it's been a great day, very busy day, very busy sea day, but it's probably been one of the funnest sea days ever for us. So. Um, thanks for following along on this journey. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I will see you guys in the morning as we disembark and I'll show you that process. So stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching. All right. Good morning, guys. It is disembarkation day. Um, so we're up. It is 723. We're about to head down to get blue iguana for breakfast and then we're getting off the ship. So they've already started calling the different muster stations to disembark if you have express disembarkation that's where you carry off your own luggage and things so they've already started calling keep in mind you don't have to go down when they call if you're going to have breakfast and things um, to keep things organized they do ask if you're ready to get off to wait until they call your muster um, but you know if you have an early flight then you got to do what you got to do but we're off right now waiting for the rest of the family ready to have some breakfast and we're off the ship it's been a great time without having my blue iguana. Um, don't think I'll have another one of these until May 29th when we're on board Carnival Sunrise for Memorial Day weekend. We're going to Jamaica and Grand Cayman to so be sure to stay tuned for that adventure. We have more family going with us on that cruise. Um, followed by, right after that, Carnival Celebration and then Carnival Venencia for the US inaugural sailing. So be sure to stay tuned and enjoy my burrito. All right, till next time, Carnival Liberty. certificate line is pretty pretty busy um, I've never seen it like this so if you don't have a passport and if you wait to get off the ship you're gonna be waiting in a long line it's moving pretty fast right now um, but the birth certificate I mean the passport line had no line and it's facial recognition so you just zoom through 